the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We would like to bring into our prayer what the word commemorates today. Today is the word day against child labor. It is good to educate the children to appreciate the value of work, but to not the value of labor many times not remunerated, not appreciated, causes to be damaged in the lives of the children. For the many times that we have been part of this program, we acknowledge our failure and ask God for pardon and the prayer that the world becomes child-friendly, that the beginning of the journeys of many Maybe they start smoothly so that they may achieve the, all the potential that lies in them. You were sent in the contrite part, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance and to faith. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, help us. May your mighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting be son right and by your guidance do it. This is our prayer for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. In those days when Elijah came to Horeb, the mount of God, he lodged in a cave, and behold, the word, the word of the Lord came to him, and he said, Go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and a strong wind tore the mountains, and broke in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind, and the after the wind and not quick but the Lord was not in the earthquake and after the earthquake a fire but the Lord was not in the fire and after the fire a still small voice and when Elijah heard it he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave and behold there came a voice to him and said what are you doing here, Elijah? He said, I have been very jealous for the Lord, the God of hosts. For the sons of Israel have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altars, and slain your prophets with the sword. And I, even I only, am left, and they seek my life to take it away. And the Lord said to him, Go, return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus, and when you arrive, you shall anoint Hazel to be king over Syria, and Jehu the son of Nimshi, you shall anoint to be king over Israel, and Elisha the son of Shaphat of Abel Mehola, you shall anoint to be prophet in your place. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is your face, O Lord, that I see. It, it is your face, O Lord, that I see. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer me. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. It is, it is your, your face, face, O Lord, that, that I, I seek. seek. 
It is your face, O oh Lord, that I see. Hide not your face from me. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. It is your face, O oh Lord, that I seek. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. It is your face, O oh Lord, that I seek. for according to Matthew. Glory to you, you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard what you have said. You shall not commit adultery. But I said to you that everyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and throw it away. It is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better that you lose one of your members than that you, your whole body go to hell. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I said to you that everyone who divorces his wife, except on the ground of unchastity, makes her an adulteress. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is noise everywhere. Perhaps only during the curfew hours, these days people come to some rest. Noise is reduced drastically. But still, it is loud. Even bombarded by the many texts in the social media and the many images arouse noise everywhere. People tend to fear silence. A certain prophet and a poet in our days described our society as a society that suffers from silence deficit syndrome. It seems people are afraid of silence. And there is a tendency of escaping into something that is loud to put to silence the noise in the heart. The reading today from the first book of the Kings points to us the importance of silence. For God shows himself in that soft whispering wind in the silence. And Elijah was a man who knew how to discern the presence of God. 
God who does not appear in big sensations, does not appear in earthquakes, in fire, in strong winds, but appears in that soft breath where there is silence. And it is in this silence that God speaks out the message for the great man of God, Elijah. What he tells Elijah is very important and perhaps a challenge to us and to all of us who have authority and power. You shall anoint Elisha to succeed you, to take your place as a prophet. This is something that has defeated many of us in the history of humanity. To mentor someone to succeed is not so easy. For it seems the power is so attractive that none is ready to leave it. But in the silence in which God speaks to Elijah, he can hear this message. And he is a man who could say that is mature. Because his success as a prophet will be manifested in his ability to have a successor. That is what God speaks to us if we are ready to listen to him and not to be taken over by the noise around us and in us. Jesus has a message to us. If we are ready to listen to this message, he makes a reference to what was, was said before him. You have heard that it was said. And then it is good news. It consists in this small word, but, but I say to you, and he wants to tell us that he has brought something new so that we don't remain in the old patterns of life. He has something new to add. You have heard what was said, but I said to you. And what he, he tells us, it concerns our heart. His message, of course, uh, sounds too radical for every one of us. Because he insists that if any of our limbs, or parts of our bodies, are to lead us into sin, then we should be ready for an amputation. Who would be ready to have one's eyes plucked out because they lead one to sin? And who would be ready to have any part of the body amputated because it leads him or her to sin. Now he wants to make us aware it has to go beyond the physical limbs of our bodies. Whoever looks at the other person lastfully means that wants to take the other person as an object of pleasure and despising the dignity of the other. He wants us to check the heart to check our heart and that what pushes us, what motivates us to sin. If the heart is pure, then we can look at other people the way God looks at them, recognizing the image that he created. And that is that. Let us go beyond the physical and so that in the silence of our hearts, we may be shown what leads us astray many times. The motivations need to be purified so that our attitudes towards others may also be godly. And Jesus told us in the Beatitudes that blessed are those with a pure heart. They will see God. If we learn to see God with a pure heart, then we are given also that perspective with which we are to look at one another, not as objects, but as subjects with dignity. St. Benedict, encouraging people to treasure silence, once uh, said, sometimes it is important that good words are left unsaid for the esteem of silence. Because it is in silence that we learn to hearken, to listen to the voice of God, who wants to form us and transform us radically from our hearts. Once our hearts are purified, 
our eyes will also be pure to recognize the images that God has created. And today, as we also commemorate a World Day Against Child Labor, may we have a purified attitude towards children, those that are most vulnerable, especially at the beginning of their life journeys, that they are not loaded with the burdens they are to carry the rest of their lives. And may our world be more child, children friendly. sisters that this our offering may be pleasing to him the merciful father may the lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church look kindly upon our service O oh lord we pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through christ our lord Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer incarnate by the holy spirit and the born of the virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection and so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we are claimed holy holy holy, holy, holy lord god of hosts Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks to prophet, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may all be gathered into one by the power of your Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Cyprian our Bishop, the clergy, the religious, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Saint Joseph, her most just spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint Daniel Comboni, the holy Ugandan martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coheirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Obedient to the Master's command and ready to be formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity, and make her an instrument of your peace for the entire world. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ purify our hearts. Amen. pray. May your healing work, O oh Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh Mary, you always shine on our path as the sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, Keeping your faith firm, you, salvation of the people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide, so that as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain our entreaties in your trial, but deliver us from every danger. O glorious, O blessed Virgin Mary. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless and protect you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go to love and to serve. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.